Did the spot Bitcoin ETFs just get approved? Well, in this video, we're going to do a little bit of a dive into what is actually going on with all these spot ETFs, what to expect, and how you can prepare for what's next. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara Ducas. Thank you for being here with me, my beautiful subscribers, on this wonderfully beautiful day. I'm sorry I'm getting my video to you so late today, but uh, you know I've had quite a crazy day in my business, um, my health business. So thank you. Appreciate all that love and that kindness. Guys, if you missed out on my video yesterday, you need to watch that video. It is crazy. All right, guys. So nonetheless, let's delve right into this video. We've got a lot to share with you today. So let's go and tackle what's going on in about 16 minutes. So I'm sure by the time I'm finished recording this and maybe leading up to the end of the video, we will see what happened here. But basically, this is going to make the markets move a little bit. Um, we're definitely expecting that. And then tomorrow morning, what will make it the markets move at about 9 a.m. Uh, my time is going to be the German, I'm uh, sorry, the British GDP. And uh, that will definitely be making the markets move. So we'll have a look and we'll keep closely posted. So let's go and see towards the end of the video where we're at. But for now, guys, as you can see here, the Morales bubbles or the Morales money bubbles are insane pumping. There's very, very little red in the market today that you guys can see over here. Everything else is pumping hardcore into the green. So why is this happening? Well, we've been seeing a lot of energy with the Bitcoin ETFs, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that and how money flow is coming into the space right now. But before I do that, let's go and have a look at the Dixie chart because the Dixie chart on the monthly um, is re kind of retracing. But if we go and have a look at it on the daily, that is a topping tail candle right there. We've got sell volume, sell pressure coming in here. And like I said, this would be the kiss of death right here in my video. And as you can see, the MACD on the daily time frame is starting to turn down very, very heavily. On the other hand, Ordinals continues to pump like absolute crazy. I did make a video. I was going to get into a trade. Now Ordinals is pretty much going into price discovery here. As you guys can see, Although I think we should have some sort of pullback here, probably to the top of this, this level here. So maybe about 50, 60% it would pull down. But for now, Bitcoin ordinals are going strong and that's because Bitcoin is going strong. So in this video, we are gonna delve a little bit into the coordination between those two. So let's not waste any more time, guys. First of all, right now, we are, according to Will Clemente, we're somewhere between anger and depression somewhere between anger and depression. We haven't even hit disbelief yet. Now, once we get into the disbelief, that is over here. We're still expecting hope, optimism, belief, thrill, euphoria. Then complacency, anxiety, and the, the whole cycle starts again. So right now, if we're in this process over here, I reckon we have a very, very long bullish way to go. So what does this mean for us? Well, US denominated approaching all time highs as well. So BTC CME futures open interest is coming up to this level up here, which is about 5 billion. This is going to be insane, guys, because USD and the price of Bitcoin is just going to go up and continue to go up. So CME futures open interest just surpassed 100,000 BTC for the first time ever. Well, that is happening over here. And this is the open interest. So you can see it has gradually since 2018, Jan has been increasing and people are becoming more and more interest in, interested in the Bitcoin charts and the Bitcoin price. So nonetheless, we have exceptional amounts to share and to show with you. So make sure if you guys are trading with me, you're hitting my links, my Bybit link down below, my Bitflex link down below. As usual, I will show you what trades I'm in, what I'm doing, how much profit there is, and we'll go from there. But Let's go and see the, um, the reason why the Bitcoin NFTs and ordinals, because ordinals are where the NFT, Bitcoin NFTs are happening and can be traded. Well, guess what? Bitcoin is literally on top. Now, surpassing Ethereum as the number one blockchain for NFTs, okay? And this was made yesterday, 1226 p.m. my time, which was call it 15 hours ago. So guys, you can see 
we've had a 50% increase in Bitcoin ordinals and Bitcoin usage, okay? You can always choose to cover your eye and pretend ordinals is just the height. But you might be comfy in your little zone, but your size is not size. I love that. I really do appreciate this. And you can see here that the Bitcoin ordinals and NFT sales has increased and surpassed Ethereum. And we know Ethereum is the blockchain for NFTs. And so is Solana. But guess what? Ethereum is 13 times bigger than Solana, essentially. And now Bitcoin has surpassed Ethereum by about three and a half million or three million, okay, in trading volume in the last 24 hours. Are you guys telling me that we are not in a bullish cycle already? Well, you're very, very mistaken. And um, so what you can see here is this is Gary Gens's page. Now, I want to go and share just a few things with you. So the SEC's first window to approve all spot but all 12 spot bitcoin etfs to begin today so this was from 11 hours ago so from around 2 a.m this morning there's an eight day window period between 9th of november and 17th of november where all 12 spot, spot bitcoin etf filings could be approved by the sec according to bloomberg etf analyst james Safwart and eric Bolchunas. now we know eric Bolchunas is an incredible investor so we can see that this is what they are predicting to happen, basically. So if the agency wants to allow all 12 filers to launch, as we believe, this is the first available window since Grayscale's court victory was affirmed. So as we can see here, this could happen pretty much over the next couple of days, guys. So this is looking huge. Grayscale is also in talks with the SEC over G GBTC conversion uh, into spot BT um, BTC ETF. So that is going to be mwah, magnifique. So if you guys still don't believe that there is bullish news. Now, guys, I believe that they probably once these filings are launched, we're going to have some sort of godlike candle happen on Bitcoin and crypto. And it's going to pump everything in the crypto space bringing in much more liquidity into the space and we shall start to see crazy bull run happen in this market again so i hope you guys are enjoying the video so far i hope you are enjoying every moment please subscribe to the channel if you are and of course smash the thumbs up that would be truly appreciated because you guys know that i bring good valuable information to you every single day without failure so Bitcoin ETF launch could be delayed more than a month after the SEC approval. So basically what they're saying here is, and this was from two hours ago, that the ETF launch could be delayed, but off, and that would be a month after the SEC approval. But once the SEC approves, I'm sorry to say, but that is, you know, the horses are, have left the, the stables. They've gone on for a gallop out in the wild. There's no controlling it what the price of Bitcoin does from this point. A total of 12 asset managers have filed for spot ETF with the SEC, US SEC with the first window of approval uh, from the 8th of November. So that's from yesterday to the 17th, like I said to you guys. So we'll see what happens. And of course on the channel, we'll keep you posted if anything else happens. But this is a post from Adam Kochran. Um, usually this kind of stuff is posted by the SEC as like a disclaimer before they approve things that they don't like. For example, the last time was four days before they approved the BITO or BITO futures if um, ETF. Would guess this puts BTC ETF approvals at less than a week now. So guys, I'm not going to play this video for you. I don't want to play anything from this person on the channel, but the reason I have that open is because this is uh, this is here. So this is Gary Gensler. This is his page. And what I do want to point out to you. Now, I don't know if you guys know about Masonism or the symbolism of the bright, shining illuminations of this wonderful world. Well, if you do, and I'm sure most of you do, and I won't go into that in this video because otherwise I might be flagged in my video um but basically mr g is father of three okay and he just so happens to be the 33rd 33rd 
chair of the SEC. Now, guys, in Masonism and in um, the Illuminations, the 33rd is the highest level that you could get to, okay, in Masonism. Now, that is at the top. You also have 33 vertebra um, in the spinal column. And when that the fluid in the spinal column comes through to your pineal gland, that is your illumination or your awakening. And that's why they use that symbolism to tell us about these things. So these guys show us three threes, 33rd, hidden in plain sight always. Guys, these guys are the Illuminatian or Illuminati or the triangles with the eye, which is your pineal gland, illuminating once that spinal fluid opens up the gets to the pineal gland and opens up. Sidestepping and off track, but that has relevance to why I'm saying this to you because we know that this person and this this part of the government is actually not in favor of crypto. So what he's gone and done is he's made a video here about 20 hours ago and he pinned it on top of it and he has now basically said, our division of corporation finance oversees and maintains a basic bargain in our capital markets. Investors get to decide what risks to take so long as public companies make complete and truthful disclosures. More on the breadth of, of work of work are the divisions does i mean that doesn't even make sense i mean dude get your english right first of all are you speaking lizard to me i don't know i don't care but this is basically what um Kotran is saying so usually this kind of stuff is posted by the sec as a disclaimer uh, before they approve things that they don't like so that would be interesting to see now that brings me on to the charts, okay, and coming back to the ordinals, like I said, so ordinals has been pumping. What is Bitcoin doing? So Bitcoin dominance is once again pumping. Now you guys can see the MACD on the daily time frame. I'm oh, sorry, on the monthly time frame, pulled up here and made the the green candles on the um, uh, MACD MACD and crossed over here. We are now making the candles and crossing up over here. We crossed over here essentially, but we're crossing through this. Are we about to see the biggest bull cycle of Bitcoin ever? I think so, guys. I think so. I'd love to know what you guys think. So let me know down below. Because at the moment, I'm in huge profits in my trade and I'll show you my trade very soon. But right now, the Bitcoin dominance is pumping up. Altcoins seem to be pumping, as you see here from Morales Money. Altcoins are pumping. The crypto market is pumping. Guys. Don't be left behind. Institutions are getting in ahead of you. So hopefully this is the once in a lifetime opportunity that we have to get ahead of institutions. Now, make no mistake, the institutions have definitely been buying already. Okay. But for now, that doesn't matter because on this time frame, you can see that we have now on the monthly, on the RSI, crossed back over up here. Okay. And we are pushing through and expanding with green candles pumping. And pushing us up as i've said to you my personal target is forty-eight thousand um to see probably by as i said the next two weeks to the end of the month i would say that we would see 48k by the end by i would say by the bitcoin halving cycle we're anywhere between 48k and the all-time high up here at sixty-nine thousand. what are your guys thoughts let me know down in the comments below and then as you guys can see here Ethereum hasn't even started. I mean, actually, let's go and see this quickly. Yes, we're started. We're going white here on, you know, once we go white, you can see that once we go white, it can start to go green or turn around. The MACD is also starting to pull up and give us a bullish signal for Ethereum as well. Now, with that being said, I wanted to let you guys know that according to Daily HODL, we are expecting about 15 trillion dollars worth of floodgates that will open for the bitcoin upon approval of the btc etf fund according to glassnode founders now i'm not going to read this article to you but basically the looming institutional fomo fear of missing out once bitcoin etf spots gets the green light could potentially ignite a bull run propelling us 
Now, guys, we are already in a bull run. There's no doubt about it. But once this, once this actually gets approved, that's why I say we're about to see a God candle. Guys, $15 trillion. If $15 trillion comes into this space, and if we basically multiply that by the 118 uh, X that we have speak, been speaking about on my videos, go check this one, go check this one, go check this one. I speak about that in those videos. If we're getting $15 trillion, you need to basically times this by 118 to actually get the, the liquidity flow into the space. Guys, that would take us into the hundreds of trillions of dollars in the um, crypto space, guys. No wonder we're seeing this start to pump. No wonder we're starting to see crypto go crazy. Now, if you guys are still sitting in the disbelief side of things, the depression and the disbelief side of things, I hope you are at least accumulating and just doing whatever you can to accumulate. Because as you can see, the bullish signals are everywhere. Now, with that being said, I want to go and show you a chart that may actually blow your mind out the water. Before I do that, make sure to hit my buy bits and my bitflex links down below, pinned in the comments for you guys. We can go ahead and trade this. Now, Bitcoin has officially broken out today. Okay. Have a look at this. Okay. So this is the Bitcoin. I'm going to just delete this quickly. Okay. So that we have nice and clear charts here. So Bitcoin has broken out. It broke out of this 35, 36,000 level. We're now sitting close at 37,000. The daily RSI is pulling up very, very nicely right now. And we want to just go and add the MACD on this um, on this chart for us right now and shift us into the monthly paradigm. Okay, why would I want to do that? Well, first of all, every single time there was one of these triangles here, one, two, three, four, five. We are literally in that fifth consecutive triangle breakout. And I have to show you something before I get onto the MACD. But basically, as you guys can see, we have literally officially already broken out with the last month's candle right here. We broke out from the bullish target of $26,850. Ever since then, we have already been bullish. And guys, we are officially $10,000 above that price level right now. As I speak today, which would essentially be a 25% pump since the breakout. Now, to get to the all-time high from where we are, looks pretty darn easy with a 67% pump. We've done more than that this entire year already. Now, not only that, the RSI is pulling up like I keep telling you. The MACD, guys, for the first time ever, look at what it has done. We are literally, and I'll zoom into this in a moment, but we are literally, the blue line is crossing over the red line. We have gone into the green. The volume is picking up on the MACD. Guys, we are without a doubt coming into something like this that we will see one of the biggest. Now, guys, we realize that we have had one of the biggest pullbacks in the MACD as well. And like I keep saying to you, that elastic band has pulled so far back and so far taut that we are literally about to have the biggest bull cycle in history, undoubted. I've shown you my videos. Ray Dalio reckons so. Michael, straight, M Michael Saylor reckons so. Go check that video out in that video. Come and subscribe to the channel because I'm bringing you guys content like this every single day. Now, let's talk a little bit more about this MACD. I want to open it for us. Let's maximize the pain here so that we can, we can actually have a look at the MACD. Okay. So right now on the MACD, you can see that we crossed over right here. So since, since the 1st of July, 2023, we have been bullish, okay? I have been talking about the bullish cycle. Well, actually, since January, we were bullish, which January was over here, okay? We started to go bullish, and we were essentially starting to go bullish from October last year, okay? Because that's where the bottom, bottom out on the MACD over here. Now, you guys want to have a look. We're pushing through this MACD. On this MACD, we have a very, very, very long way to go. Okay, and I just want to go and open up the MACD for you guys so that you, I can give you some perspective as to what this is about to look like, guys. So this was the 27, 27, 2016 uh, crossover. Okay, now draw us to draw my attention, draw your attention to this. Okay, 
the MACD crossover was there. We didn't have so much of a pull down over here. And when we crossed over, we were already above the, the median line of the MACD, okay? Over here, we haven't crossed the median line of the MACD yet, okay? Well, the blue line is starting, okay? But the red line hasn't even crossed over that MACD. Once that crosses over, guys, we are in for a surprise rally for Bitcoin. And that's why people think that Bitcoin is about to experience the biggest Bitcoin bull rally in its history. Now, with that being said, I could see us and this line, this blue line probably coming, I mean, sorry, the green candles really getting much higher than this. Adding probably, I would say that the green candles will probably end up making a higher high for us, considering that that's essentially what the pattern is looking like on the MACD, right? Now, what I want to show you is that these MACDs, um, the, the green candles, could essentially start to get up to this point, okay, which would bring these elastic lines, okay, the line, the, the, the bands, even higher than that, also creating its own higher highs, as you can see. Okay, I would say that that's probably what that would look like. So let's delete that one, okay, which would probably bring those lines up to around this level, which if I would say to you, would expand that MACD to look something like this, okay, guys, you have no idea what we're about to expect. If you think this bull rally was a bull rally, okay, we're probably going to see the equivalent. And like I said, look at my blue line up here. Look at my blue line where it's going. 11,900% is what we could potentially see. Um, look, I don't think we'll get to a three and a half million, four million dollar prices bull cycle. But if a God candle comes, we're going to gobble up all of the history of Bitcoin price action. And we're going to see something we have never seen in the Bitcoin price before. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let's go and check my trades quickly before I jump off. And I hope that you guys have thoroughly enjoyed this video. You can show some love by smashing the thumbs up for me. In the meantime, that would be truly appreciated. Um, and let's go and see my positions. So I, I got into a Pepe position down here yesterday because I saw it was going to break out. And guess what? Look at that pattern. Look at how it broke out. Yes, we're coming into a bit of resistance, but right now we are going to test this resistance level and probably consider a breakout at this level and get into a further level out. And what I say with the Pepe trade is that this will end up being the, the, the target. Okay, let me get my candle there. That will end up being the target more or less at these highs over here, as you guys can see. So look at how perfect these targets are and guys, that would be a crazy rally for the Bitcoin cycle. And then not only that, it's going to get to this level, probably retrace back down here to the scene of the crime, and then start to pump its way up to its all-time highs up here. Mad! Mad! I hope you guys got into that trade with me that I pointed out to you yesterday in my video. Um, let us go and look at what my trades are busy doing. So my Pepe, as you guys can see, is already 170% in, in profit. My Bitcoin is now 390% in profit. My Ethereum is officially 28% in profit. My Litecoin is 38% in profit. My Ocean Trade is 22% in profit. My Poly X Trade was in profit and it's come back down again. So we'll have a look at that, reanalyze, see if we get into some more or not. Um, then Shiba Inu, my position is now 108% in profit. My Sweatcoin is 41% in profit. My Veracity is 97% in profit. And my XLM is not in profit. It's down 1.8%, guys. So you can see, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this with me because my trades have been doing extremely well. There's still so many more trades out there to be taken. But right now, as you can see, I've got enough trades on my plate. I don't need to get in many more. Otherwise, I have to manage them, look after them, etc., etc. But all I'm doing is catching the wave for this as a longer term trend, especially considering what I've just shown you on the Bitcoin chart. This is just getting started. So why would I not ride some of these trades up to specific levels and make some massive gains on the trading? Well, love you guys. And basically what I've done is I've taken 
Um, just like Crypto Dano, guys, I hope you guys watched that live stream that I was on there yesterday. Um, just, just like uh, he mentioned, I also have been taking accounts, and that's why I show you guys $1 trades. I've been taking my accounts from what, uh, from uh, $50 right up to $1,000. And actually, I'm sitting higher than $1,000 at the moment. So I hope you guys have been enjoying subscribing to the channel and clicking on this video and these videos so that you guys get these trades. Don't forget to click my, remember to click my Bybit link and my Bitflex link down in the comments below for you guys. And let's go and make money together. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, show some love and we'll see you on the next one. You bless the beautiful souls.